Rubex 2022, the world's largest exhibition of robots. The World Trade Center's 20 halls accommodated over 500 companies who brought their latest solutions and concepts hoping to interest the government of the United Arab Emirates, which actively innovates in a variety of areas of life in their country. Dubai Metaverse's strategy foresees the creation of more than 40,000 new virtual jobs in the Emirate by 2030. Intelligent devices, unmanned vehicles, and mixed reality are how the Dubai and Emirati authorities see the near future. So let's take a look at the best exhibits from the show. The biggest premiere at GitX Global was the presentation of the X2 flying car. It included a public takeoff, flight, and safe landing of the fifth-generation aeromobile from the Chinese company Xpeng. Although prototypes have been around for ages, the actual commercial flying car is still quite elusive. And now, finally, the EV Tall X2 autonomous two-seat electric vehicle marks a new era of short-haul flights and mobile solutions based on artificial intelligence. At least that's what the manufacturers are claiming. The X2 has a maximum takeoff weight of 760 kilograms and weighs 560 kilograms without passengers. It can reach a maximum speed of 130 kilometers per hour and offers a 35-minute flight time. Constructed from high-quality carbon fiber, the vehicle is equipped with a parachute for safety. Whether X-Pen was able to secure a contract in Dubai to launch this airmobile is not yet known. The Japanese startup SkyDrive brought its prototype of an unmanned cab to the show. The company's been working on flying cars for several summers and has already demonstrated a brief flight of this prototype. It was previously announced that the startup will launch an air cab to transport visitors to the World Expo in Osaka in 2025, and recently it became known that SkyDrive has entered into an agreement with Suzuki Motor, which should help make this plan a reality. Since then, the concept design has changed a bit. We await the actual prototype and first flight videos of the vehicle. The Stellar GitX 2021 was a concept car from Mercedes called Avatar. This year, the futuristic Cadillac Interspace Autonomous Electric Car conquered the show with its design. The two-seat vehicle focused on allowing passengers to completely disconnect and enjoy the ride without worrying about driving. For passenger comfort, not only the doors are lifted up, but also the roof of the car. The windshield is only a tribute to tradition, as half of it is covered by a huge curved display that shows media with its own software based on the operating system Multify from Linux. There's no familiar controls, they're not needed. Cadillac Interspace is only a concept as of now, but it's fully consistent with the concept of converting 25% of all transportation in Dubai to fully autonomous by 2030. And of course, the robotic cars of the future will need robotic charging. The idea has been wandering around for years now, and sooner or later, it's bound to become a reality. Our prediction is within three years, but what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Also on display was a robotic microscope with BHS technology. A specially designed head display allows the surgeon to interact with the robotic arm on which the microscope is mounted to increase the accuracy and speed of complex surgeries. The robotic scope detects the surgeon's head movement and controls the robot's camera accordingly. In the front of the surgeon's eyes are two digital micro displays that show a three-dimensional image of the operating field in real time while the robotic arm and camera head perform the corresponding movements with high precision. 
Other exhibits at the show include a giant 3D head from the General Office of Resident and Alien Affairs. It told visitors how biometrics would be used outside of airports and at border checkpoints. Specifically, biometrics could speed up financial transactions at all air, land, and seaports in Dubai. If the data is of high quality, it can also be used by other government and non-governmental organizations to better serve their customers, according to the head of the department. Another cool technology presented at GitX Global 2022 was the PillBot robotic tablet from Silicon Valley-based company Endia TX. It allows you to perform an endoscopy in the comfort of your own home. Simply swallow the polycarbonate pill filled with water and call the doctor on Zoom. The pill passes through the gastrointestinal tract, splashes water in six different directions, and allows you and your doctor to watch a fascinating or not-so-fascinating video. If the doctor sees something that can be treated with pills, he can prescribe them on the spot. And if something more serious is found, you can go to the hospital for a follow-up. A mini-robot developed by the Dubai Institute for Technological Innovation can follow people or explore spaces to find in case of accidents. It's designed for use in factories and warehouses. Promobot also featured at GitX 2022, bringing an unexpected solution called robot heads. Smart heads are a separate ready-made solution. They can communicate with the audience, answer questions, and help employees from various organizations. According to the developers, proprietary technology and patented designs allow the robot to reproduce more than 600 variants of human micro-mimicry. To maintain the dialogue, the robots use their own dialogue platform Promobot Nested Chat. It allows you to understand text and spoken language, extracting the necessary information and providing a native response. According to the creators of the robot, humanoid droids of RoboC model are in great demand in the Middle East. Also on display was Robo Sculptor, a continuation of the idea of a robotic masseur. Whereas earlier manipulators mostly worked with one or two body zones, and this robot can not only do a professional massage, but also make aesthetic corrections to the whole body. The developers claim lymphatic drainage, anti-cellulite effect, and therapy after exercise. The robotic arm with a roller is completed by a high-speed 3D scanner of the whole body, and the massage protocol is created by artificial intelligence. There were several unmanned vehicles at GitX, including the Cruise Origin. According to the Director General of the Dubai Roads and Transportation Authority, these robot cars will be deployed in limited numbers next year and the number will increase over time. Another autonomous vehicle on display was the Taxi Minibus. It will be used for the first time during the Etihad Airways Grand Prix Abu Dhabi in November. The bus will stop at eight points on Yaz Island and carry up to seven passengers at a time. LED screens in the cabin show passengers a map of the route with stops and entertainment content. In 2023, the bus will be tested on Sadiat Island in free mode. An impressive exhibit was the Thermite RS3 robot firefighter from How & How. The robot's powered by a 36.8 Yanmar engine and reaches speeds of up to 13 km per hour and has ranges of up to 500 meters. It can deliver water flows at 2,500 gallons per minute depending on the model. The robot can be controlled remotely from a safe distance, and the belly pack controller provides high-definition video feedback for maximum maneuverability in challenging environments. There were several drones at GitX, but the most interesting solution was the Neo Octocopter from Flycam. The drone is produced by Ace Core Technologies in the Netherlands, and Flycam, in cooperation with radiation instrument manufacturers, develops reliable systems for the drone to help it carry a payload. The Neo in this configuration is already in use by a number of companies. A humanoid
Pepper robots, mobile service robots, including PUDU robotic waiters and service humanoid robots developed in Saudi Arabia were also not left out of the show. 